Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the Devu Matiz. This is actually the updated model. So this is the lower SP trim. The higher trim was SA which actually replaced I think the SP and another trim where they actually reduced the pricing of this car. Now this car comes courtesy of Ebenezer to me. Straight away we are going to be opening the engine bay and yahan pe ek lever hai wo thoda ajeeb tarike se khulta hai. That is the engine. It says M-Tech which stands for maximum technique. and it's a very chintu mintu engine it is actually a cap forward design there is no insulation here and this is so light now with pinky finger you can actually move it it's super duper look at this lightness absolutely crazy it's a very cute car in fact i'm not kidding in my childhood i thought this is like a toy car and asked my parents to give it to me and i can still hear my ears ringing from that slap which i got okay obviously everything was halogen and it was not clear lens so you can't really see inside this is the indicator which is functioning at the moment there's a towing hook and there's a provision for a fog light as well you get this black thing on the front bumper which was sort of a design element at that time devu logo always looks incomplete to me why do you like the design of this car i'll tell you why because there was an italian design house which made this design and for fiat yeah the fiat sicuento but fiat did not like the design so devu was like hame de do hum le lenge chalo jaldi 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 idhar and let's look at the wheels they are quite small they are obviously steel wheels there are no wheel caps either the tire size happens to be 155 70 13 so profile is obviously big and they are wide enough tires considering the size of the car of course This does not touch the body. Kind of sporty appeal in that sense, and this car is around 3.5 meters in terms of length, so you can see it's kind of chintu mintu in that regard. It's a very cute looking car. The uncle you see on the left, he was asking me why do you make videos for YouTube? What is there? What is the interesting part? मतलब करते क्यों हो ऐसा? क्या मिलता है तुम्हें से? And I'm like, that's like my job, my profession, my hobby, my love, and all. And he's like. not understanding like my bed ke dekhu main ye kar kya raha hai banda any which ways the rear again has this cuteness going on this is obviously the indicator it says total spice spice stands for safety power innovation comfort and economy so they launched this whole campaign of total spice with the matiz and there is the exhaust which is a proper unit with screws and all exposed now the thing is that uh, it's kind of plain and basic there's no rear wiper washer there's none of that here and i've already kept this tailgate open so we just open it like this there's some bit of restriction which is happening from the studs boot is small and chintu but you can increase the boot carrying capacity simply by pushing this down i mean you obviously have to pull the lever i would have got in from that side usually from that side is where i get in but there's a spider which is hanging on that window so we shall avoid and yeah that is so light one flip and it goes down this is where the fuel actually goes in and this does not go anything beyond that like you have to really push it and it tries to come back up now the good thing about the matiz is that there is actually good amount of space on offer so this is the minimum legroom i put the seat all the way behind that is the maximum legroom i put the seat all the way ahead and i'm shocked by the amount of space it has it's kind of cool okay now this being the lower variant does not have power windows but You know what? Door pockets are not there at the rear, and I think they removed quite a lot of features to reduce the pricing. And they reduced the pricing by forty nine thousand. And this car was cheaper when compared to the Zen as well as the Sentra, and that was the USP of this car. Value for money, no headrest because nobody has a head at the rear, and there is no center armrest, none of that. Obviously, center armrest expectation is like wrong, but headrest to होने चाहिए थे. Forget being adjustable. Anyways, passenger side area is fine, and then. Okay, because the seat is all the way behind, space is a bit of a tight crunch for me. Otherwise, space is decent for a car of this size. And legroom, well, legroom and knee room is actually bad. Under thigh support is okay, okay. It's not that great. Headroom is kind of adequate in spite of the fact it's a tall boy. I expected more headroom, of course. And there is the dashboard, which looks quite cute and sort of Volkswagen Beetle-ish. Okay, <laughs> let's get outside from here. Now. Where is the variant name written? It is actually written here. S G High Performance. In those days, anything could be high performance. Anything could be a super car. There was no uh, what do I say? Uh, forget it. It says Club Class here. मतलब बोलना है तो कुछ भी बोल दो. Open the door and there are no door pockets at the front. Manual controls for the windows. This is the weirdest seat I've ever seen in my life. It's sloping like this. So under thigh support is not zero. It's in minus actually. And uh, some wire is dangling from here. This cannot be pressed. There you can see the pedals. There is no dead pedal here, but it's a very cute looking car. I am right now uh, taking Faisal Khan's fingers of truth to search for the key because I think I've kind of lost the key already. Anyways, two spoke steering wheel. Car brands are doing it now. Devu did it long back, but oh my god, I have to show you this. Okay, first and foremost, let's close the door. Under thigh support is not there at all at the front. Look at the kind of under thigh support. I've never seen a car with like minus under thigh support for front occupants. At least the car should be made so everyone can drive it. But there's no space. I was right when I was a child that 
for children this is the car <laughs> and this is obviously after market here there is a mirror this is curved on its own and uh, there is this toll receipt holder this has not been removed in 25 years which is absolutely crazy as well let's turn off the indicators two dummy buttons here in case you want to install nos these are the controls for the air conditioning there is no audio system but it has a devu logo here okay there's some space here so you can keep stuff but what no audio system i'm kidding yeah. obviously this car has audio system you want to hear the audio system for that we'll have to turn on the car and here oh okay why is it not turning on does it have a clutch lock or something of that sort or what is wrong come on gaadi on jao popad mat karo sabke samne okay i'll have to figure why it's not turning on but till that time let's look at the instrument cluster again very basic a unit tell tell lights in the center you get a odometer you get a trip meter and you get a speedometer that's about it nothing else stocks feel nice to operate this is obviously not really obvious but indicator clay so ulta diya hua hai yahan pe you get it for the wild purse which you will experience when driving the car dashboard looks nice in fact uh, I'll try and figure out how to turn on the car. Once we do that, I will show you the audio system. So let's start driving right away. In case it starts before that, let's see the glove box. It has some spare parts. And okay, it gets stuck here. And in case it heats up, there is some fluid lying there as well. Let's go. So let's just turn on the car. There it rose to life, and the AI bot has got activated. You can see it moving into first gear, handbrake down, and off we go straight away. Steering wheel doesn't have power assist, but it's quite light. But the clutch is super springy, ah. Huh? Now the thing is, because of this AI bot, there are a lot of additional benefits. First and foremost, hello Zuzu. I am listening. Who is Sunny Leone? Uh, it's just nodding its head in appreciation. Anyways. Answer. Sunny Leone grew up in idyllic surroundings, loving the cold Canadian. Okay, so it knows who is Sunny Leone. So that's interesting. This AI bot system is next level. And then the thing is that there's no audio system, but you have got music. I get into reverse, and I'm playing Titanic right now because that is actually the reversing alarm of this car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Jack and Rose would be so happy with this at the moment turning radius is very small actually it's very easy to turn this car around can you listen to the music yeah so when you are kind of bored when you want to listen to audio and you want everyone else also to listen to audio when you want to make a disco this is the way to do it by putting this reverse alarm anyways let's start going ahead first and foremost this car is very easy to drive steering is very light very lifeless as well and there seems quite a bit of body roll too body roll is there because primarily there is just too soft a suspension here gearbox is super horrible okay it's like such a chewing gum inside i mean there's a chewing gum factory inside this gearbox just so rubbery you know it's very difficult to operate the gearbox so the shifts are a little difficult there's no tachometer so you don't really know what are the engine speeds as such and then you know this is a very fun and maneuverable car here i'm going to Oh my god it pulls nicely yeah huh? but getting a shot is not going to reach much speed horn the horn is inside not outside as such it's a very decent easy to drive car but it was heavy actually when compared to its rivals it was heavy in terms of weight but still it's very efficient because it's 796 cc three cylinder engine oh my god 796 similar to the maruti's it produces 53 ps of power which is more than what maruti offers but because of the weight performance is not that sprightly Torque output is 71 newton meters. Getting into first is very difficult, and now I would appreciate the ride quality of this car because ride is actually very nice. It's a very compact car, but still it drives decently well. It doesn't feel flimsy in any regard. Even with the age, it doesn't feel that way. Steering is quite light, in spite of the fact there's no power assist. It's still very light, and now when you up the speed, it kind of starts to bounce almost everywhere, and then rattles start to creep in as well. Top speed will be around 120 kilometers per hour, I believe. Zero to 100 kilometers per hour will take 20 plus seconds, and because of the high weight of this car, relatively, the performance is a little blunty, but still did not really affect the efficiency. This will return 18 to 20 kilometers per liter. But now it has also got something known as a sports mode. What exactly is sports mode? When you turn on the air conditioning, it becomes sports mode because when you turn on the air conditioning, it takes a lot of load and it really blunts the performance of this car. So air conditioning is a no no in this car. You can't really use it if you're climbing like. right now i'm climbing a hill sort of a thingy so the thing is that you can say that ac is like a eco mode because it blunts performance like eco mode does but it also reduces the fuel efficiency of the car so you can't really call it eco mode so the ac performance makes the performance eco i mean when you turn on the ac the performance of the car becomes eco but the fuel efficiency becomes sports <laughs> that's kind of weird come on second weird gear doesn't slot in gearbox is such a bad one here anyways 35 liter fuel tank and off we go second no we are in first vessel <laughs> i thought we are in second 
it's a very compact nice and a sweet cute little car when devu left india and general motors took over this car was renamed and launched as the chevrolet spark just come in a vlog kar diya you know what general motors does it ruins everything instrument cluster is in the right place they took it and put it in the center why would you do that uska video dekhna to you have to click kar lo dikh jayega tumhe and then uh, the spark was discontinued and replaced by the beat later on finally we have got some good roads ahead which are not full of rattles i mean <laughs> bad road and to first gear i'm going to launch this car okay revving the motor and off we go little bit of wheel spin now uh, into second maneuverability is actually nice first time into third feels so good but performance is not the strong suite although this one does get a five speed gearbox oh my god speed breaker ahead i can't shift gears they are so bad but you know what turning radius is so amazing here i'm going to take a u turn without making people listen to titanic and off we go and there it's done and dusted how easy was that now i didn't know this car is reversing oh my god i didn't even see the speed break i didn't know this car was reversing that's the reason why i keep playing titanic you can hear me either she is parking or she is learning but there's no way she should be turning that way if she wants to go that side or this side or whichever side so that's kind of weird anyways back to driving let's turn on the headlights hopefully it won't eat the battery this time let's use the wipers oh wipers oh so it does the spray and you have to separately use the wipers this is additional effort but i won't mind it considering this is a very efficient car efficiency was the forte of the matiz and aram se aunty aram se ha oh my god why should i make shoes pedal chala rahe hain scooter not the good thing to do we are talking about in cities riding boots and all yahan pe to nange pair forget shoes <laughs> any which ways back on to our bad bouncy road and there the tractors are creeping and otherwise the car is in very good condition it's kind of sad to see that another option in the entry level segment just disappeared so ready goes also gone that's in is gone so now we have and santos also gone so there's so many limited options now what to do man that's really very sad and bad as well anyways into third and uh, you know what the engine doesn't like to be revved you push it near the red line now it kind of feels very uncomfortable and just feels out of place finally some open space to open the engine a bit and let's do the braking test ah it locks up but brakes are actually good yeah, i am surprised by the braking performance of this car so guys this is my vlog of the debu matis which rivals this car the maruti zen back in those days and uh, zen obviously sell also better because of maruti sales and service network price of this car was around rupees 4 lakhs and i remember some magazine i was seeing santro and matis that time in 98 99 i was in school i was like are mujhe gaadi chahiye main bhi jaunga khelne apne friends ke sath and then you know obviously i told you about that slap which i got because these were real cars they look like toy cars and <laughs> anyways bye bye take care see you vlog khatam ho gaya i'm not going to reach like the top speed so what are you guys watching hit the like button and subscribe